Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. Lisa Freeman here from stampingwithlisa.com joining you from Chesapeake, Virginia on this hot, humid, muggy day. <laughs> and I've got to do a quick video today because I got to go to work in about an hour. So I got to hurry up and get this done. And I just wanted to pop on real quick, show you what I've been working on um, the last couple days. So this is a one sheet wonder. If you've never done one before, what it is is you just take one sheet of cardstock, stamp the whole thing, and then you cut it up into four pieces and make four cards. So I've practiced um, a few times, so I'm gonna show you those in just a minute. But this is one of the cards that I made, so I'm gonna show you how to do that one today. And I just thought it was so beautiful. And it's using my new, I hate to even say the word, favorite stamp set. <laughs> I know you guys <laughs> know I have a lot of favorites, but this is going to be a celebration set coming out next month um, in two weeks on August 3rd, and the celebration catalog is amazing. I love it, love it, love it, but this is my favorite one in the whole entire celebration catalog, and it's one of those um, distinctive stamps that has like the 3D kind of um, realistic looking stamp in there, and that was my favorite one when I was going through the the celebration catalog I saw that and I was just like oh, I've got to have it got to have it and I just can't stop playing with it so you're probably gonna see a lot of cards with that in the next um, few weeks so let me show you how I did it um, and let's see if anybody's watching can't see I um, hopefully will not have any internet problems today I don't know <laughs> you never know <laughs> um, so we're using that stamp set we're also using one of my new favorite um, dies, which is the Hippo and Friends dies, which really has almost nothing to do with the Hippo set, but there's like a couple little stamps in there. But most of the dies in here are background, um, not background, um, they're more like for words and stuff. They're just die cut um, shapes and stuff. And I just think these are great for words or just for putting on the front of a card. So this is the one that I'm using for the words here. And it's one of the smaller, um, kind of, I don't know what you'd call that. Just a shape with um, six sides, so. <laughs> but it's not like a, a hexagon or anything, I don't know. So we'll just leave it at that. So we're using that one, and I've already punched that out ahead of time. And um, I'll show you the supplies in just a second, but first I wanna give out some free cards. So I've got this one, the winner is Sharon Rowland. And Sharon, you won this card. So congratulations, make sure you send me your address if you're watching this on replay later. And this one is Denise Kitts Wadlow. You won this card. And if you haven't seen these cards before, these are videos that I've um, done already. Um, Marsha, we're still waiting to hear from you. So if um, you don't respond soon, we're gonna have to pick another winner, I think. But you won this one that was with the Magnolia and the foil. And then Carol Ham, you won this one also with the foil technique with the trees. So you guys send me your address and I'll send you out those cards. All right, so here's what you need to get started. So we've got one full sheet of white cardstock. So that's what you start with. So I'm just gonna put that sticker right there. So one whole sheet, I haven't cut it or anything. Five and a half by eight and a half Blushing Bride. Four by five and a quarter Fresh Freesia. Um, five by three and three quarters of white. And that's really after we cut it down, after we stamp it. So I put to be stamped and cut later. So this is actually gonna be part of this piece right here. So you don't need this separate, but that's the measurements that you're gonna cut it down to. And then we've got a little piece of fresh freesia, five by three quarters, a scrap of white for the words. And I've got a piece of ribbon. This is the fresh freesia ribbon and it's seven inches long, okay? So if you wanna take a screenshot of that, that is what you need to get started. And we're gonna be starting with just the white piece of cardstock in the background. So we're gonna take all these off. And I hope you guys are having a great day. It's pretty much lunchtime. I haven't even eaten lunch yet. And I've gotta um, get ready and go to work in about an hour. So <laughs> I'm like gonna be moving fast today. All right, so what we're gonna do is start with, um, well, I can see people are watching, but I can't see any comments. So if you guys are on here, make sure you comment and let me know that you're watching, okay? 
I don't see anything yet, but, um, all right, so we're going to start with, oh, I forgot to tell you about this stamp set. So this is one of my favorites too, very Versailles, and I use this one a lot, the word background stamp. So I did grab that one off the table, and we're going to start with that one, and we're just going to stamp, and I'm going to stamp it off because it's a little bit dark. So we're just going to stamp it off and then stamp on here and try and get it straight and then stamp it again and then do the same thing. So I'm going to ink it, stamp it off and stamp it. Let's do it. We don't want it exactly straight across or anything. So like that. And let's do one more. And we'll put that like right here. And that's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. All right, so it's just gonna be like a little background there. And we're done with that one. And you you don't want it like symmetrical or anything. You kind of want it like all over. So then we're gonna start with the Dahlia. And this is the Fresh Freesia. Hey, Mary. So we're gonna ink this up. And when you're doing this um, photopolymer stamps, you always wanna have some kind of cushion underneath you. I've got a stack of paper here. So that's my cushion. But since it doesn't have a foam layer in there, you really want to have that background. So I'm just going to stamp this wherever. And I like to put two together. So I'm going to put another one like right next to it. So we've got two. And I'm going to put a couple more over here. Oops. I just got my ink in the, my fingers in the ink. And one right there. And then rotate it again. Put another one wherever you want, doesn't matter. And let's do one here. And keep going. And let's do one there. And if you want to stamp off, you can. This was really light stamped off, so I couldn't really see it. But I'll show you what it looks like. So I'll, I'll do one like right in the middle here. And then stamp it off. And that's what it looks like. So you can barely see it but you can do that if you want to. So I'll do a couple more of those just stamped off so we'll have some real light color. Just in the background. Oops, that one came out really light. So we'll have to stamp over that one. All right, so that's the first step. Just get your flowers going all over there. Oh, and also on my words, I need one. So here's my little word piece. I'm going to ink it up, just half of it, and put it just on the bottom of the white piece. There we go. I don't really love that. It kind of came out bad at the top. That's okay. The words will cover most of that. All right, so we're done with the purple for just a minute. I'm going to use the little sprinkles on that in a minute, too. All right, so now we're going to move to Blushing Bride. So for Blushing Bride, we're going to do the small flowers. And just, we're gonna do them in pairs again too, just like that. So just take it and stamp it. If you wanna stamp off, you can, but that's again, really light. You can't hardly see it. So just do a couple at a time. And we're not trying to cover the whole entire paper. We're just trying to cover most of the paper. So um, you don't want it to be like too, too crowded with stuff. And if you stamp over other things, that's totally fine too. And see where I messed up right here? We're just gonna cover right there. So now you can't even tell. And then just put wherever you want. And I think I want one more right here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna put, oh, I meant to show you the ones that I made earlier. So let me move that out of the way. So this was the very first one I did. And I used Coastal Cabana for the leaves. And then after I did it, I thought that's just too bright. Um, and I didn't really like that color with these. So I didn't use that one. So then I did it again. And wait a minute. Nope, that's not it. This I did this one, which is the one I made the card out of. And I grabbed the, the leaves from Forever Greenery or Forever Fern. And I used that. And I really didn't like that leaf going with it. So then I said, nope. Okay, so here was my final one. And this is the one I'm going to show you today. So this is the one that we're kind of making right now. So I used the leaf that comes with the stamp set and I used it with soft sea foam. So that's the one we're actually making right now. All right, 
<clears throat> so next thing we're gonna do is the leaves. So, oh, you know what else I wanna do? While I have the pink flower out, I'm gonna stamp a few in the inside. So we're just gonna stamp some right here on the inside of the card. And that, oh, that looks so pretty, doesn't it? I love that. I just love this little stamp, it's so cute. All right, so we're pretty, nope, we're not done with the pink because we're gonna actually sponge with that in a minute. So I'm gonna leave that out. All right, so now I'm gonna put some leaves on here and I'm gonna use soft sea foam. I guess everybody's eating lunch today. It's kind of quiet on here. All right, so we're gonna do our leaves and I can't remember if I stamped off. I don't think I did, but I don't remember. No, I didn't. All right, so we're gonna stamp these and just pick wherever you've got really bare places and then I'm gonna stamp them a couple times, even though you really can't see it, so I'm not even gonna bother, I think. All right, so let's turn it around and put another one here. And then maybe one right here. And you just keep turning it around until you find a spot where you want them to go. But I think the soft sea foam, I tried mint macaron, I didn't like that color either. So I ended up with this soft sea foam, which I hardly ever use, but I think it came out really pretty. So sorry if I'm making you dizzy spinning this around, but <laughs> it's easier to do that than to um, keep turning the stamp. So you wanna get it close to ya. All right, I think Maybe we need one in the corner over here. And this corner. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. You don't wanna have the whole entire thing covered. So we're gonna leave a few little bare spots in there. And then I'm gonna um, do some sprinkles on here. So I'm gonna go back with the Fresh Freesia. Oops, I just got ink right on my finger again. All right, and we're gonna um, do the sprinkles. This I grabbed from I think friends are like sea seashells. It was just sitting on the table too. So I'm just gonna put a few little sprinkles on here. And just very, very gently stamp it a couple times. But it just gives it a little splash of color too, but it's not like a real stamp that's gonna interfere with, with stuff. So now we've got the sprinkles. So we're done with the purple, the fresh freesia. Now I'm gonna go back with the pink, the Blushing Bride, and I'm gonna sponge a little bit of color on here so it's not like so white. So I'm just gonna dab this on here, dab it off, and just put it where the white areas are. So not like on top of the flowers, really, but um, I don't wanna go right over top of the flowers because that'll take away the purple color. My pad's getting a little bit dry. I was hoping to be on here by 12 o'clock so I'd have plenty of time, but I don't know where the days just go. And then it's like, boom, I look at the clock and it's almost time to go to work and I still have so much to do. All right, so we're just putting a little splash of the pink, the Blushing Bride in here. We have been so crazy at work. You know, I work at an urgent care center, as most of you guys who watch all the time know. And uh, we're not really doing a lot of COVID anymore, but we're doing like school physicals and college physicals and, you know, the typical summer things that happen like poison ivy and injuries with sports and that kind of thing. But we have been slammed. And I'm not kidding. It's like wearing me out. I get home and I'm pooped. All right. So that looks good. I think I went a little bit right there. All right, so <clears throat> now we're almost finished. We're gonna put some words on my little piece right here. And I'm gonna use Misty Moonlight only because I didn't have a black pad sitting on the table and I didn't feel like getting up. So I had the Misty Moonlight sitting there and I said, oh, that'll look good. So even though I don't have any Misty Moonlight in my um, piece of cardstock here, the blue I think came out really pretty with that. So we're gonna stick with it. And then we need some Wink of Stella. So you guys who know me know that I love Wink of Stella and the last couple cards have been missing it. So 
I had a few comments saying, where's the Wink of Stella? So I've got to just bring it back for today. So we're going to just put this right here, grab something to hit, and whoops, and just start putting some sprinkles of shimmer on top. And oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so we've got, <laughs> now I have it all over my um, take your pick tool and all over my fingers. So I can be lots nice and sparkly at work. I'm gonna put a little bit on this too. There. All right, so now what you wanna do is cut this down. So we've got our paper over here for the card. And I know I want this to be um, five by three and three quarters. So the good thing is you can take, if you messed up like around the edge or something like that, you can trim that off. But we just need five inches across. And this looks perfect right here. So I'm just gonna use this right here. So I want five inches. And I know you probably can't see that because the camera is too low. Let me see if I can scoot it up a little bit. So I've got five inches right here. There we go. All right, so there's five inches and I'm gonna cut right there and then I'm gonna turn it and we want it three and three quarters which is right here now if I messed up like right there I don't really love that spot so I think actually I'm gonna turn it around and do this end and just cut that part off over there so I'll just put this at three and three quarters and then I've got this big piece right here and since I don't really like that smudge right there I'm gonna cut that off so I'm gonna do that at three and three quarters also so now I've got this big piece left over that I can do something with if I want to or I can actually cut it in half so it is let's see one inch so I'm gonna cut it at a half an inch so now I've got two strips and I can take these strips and actually put them inside the card if I want it to so if I want to put it like in here say across the bottom like that or down the side. I could put it like right there. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just put it like right there inside the card. I think that would look cute. And then just trim it up. So it doesn't matter if the words are sideways because you can't really see what they say anyway. So let's just put that right here down the side. And I'm not gonna put it all the way up at the top because if you put it all the way at the top and then you try to close it, I think that would leave a little, um, leave it a little bulky right there. So then we're gonna trim that like that. All right, so that's the inside of our card and uh, we should have put a little bit of sprinkles in here too. Let me put some sprinkles. Let me clean this off because that had purple. So put a little bit of sprinkles. Oh, I love it. All right, so that's the inside. So we're almost done stamping. We just gotta put it together. All right, so next layer is gonna be these two together. So I'm gonna put this down. Make sure your words are going the right way. Oh, hey Sharon, did you see you won a card? You came on late, so you missed it. You won, um, I'll have to show you in a minute. You won a card from the other day. Okay. So just glue that down. Then I've got a piece of this purple, which I should have put on first, that I'm gonna put down here at the bottom. And I can see it's just a sliver too long. So let me just trim just a teeny sliver off of that. Okay. So that's gonna go like right here. Let me glue that down. And Put it down here. You can actually put it in the middle or wherever you want to. It doesn't really matter. Um, oh, you know what I forgot to? I sponged those words on the original one. So I think I'm just gonna leave it right here. What do you think? Sponged or not sponged? Right there. Let's put the ribbon on and see. So then the ribbon's gonna wrap around that. Oh, you just got home? Okay. Well, you won. Um, the one that was, oh, what is it called? Hand pinned. 
that hand pen card from the other day. Oh, I just ripped my paper. Never done that before. That's all right, it's going on the back so nobody will see it. Okay, and that's crooked. See, we all mess up. <laughs> no one is perfect, especially me, so there's always a way to fix it, usually. All right, so then we're gonna glue this down and we're gonna use the green glue. And, oops, it is so hot here today. I'm like, just hot. I turned the air condition down. I don't know if I might be having uh, hot flashes again. I went through all that about five years ago and haven't really had any problems, but now it's like all of a sudden, hey, Linda, thank you. I started having hot flashes again. I don't know what's going on. All right, so did we decide, do we want to sponge this or not sponge? Leave it lighter colored or sponge it more purple? I think I like it purple. So let's go ahead and get that back out for a sec. How did, do any of you guys have an air fryer? I got an air fryer about a year ago and I've hardly ever used it, but I decided I'm gonna start using it. So I bought some vegetables at a stand the other day and I wanted to try them in the air fryer and they came out so good. I just put them in there for like 15 minutes at 400 and roasted some zucchini and squash and sweet potatoes. Oh my gosh, that was so good. All right, so just sponge that. And then we're gonna put that on with some dimensionals. So let's get some dimensionals. And we're gonna stick another piece of ribbon here in a sec. All right, so let's put dimensionals all over this. And I've got some little half ones that are already cut here. You don't want to put your dimensionals right in the center of this because it's going to be going over that ribbon. And if you put it right in the middle and then on the ribbon, it would only be stuck to the ribbon and then it would kind of be flopping around. So you want to make sure they're like on either side of that ribbon. So we're going to put them right here. And just set that right there. And then we're going to put our ribbon underneath here and tie a little knot. And I just keep it right on the roll so I don't waste any. Um, hey Sharon, I don't think I have your address. Um, so if you could send it to me again, that would be great. Okay. So there's our little ribbon. Then we're gonna put some pearls. Gotta have some little um, bling on here. So I'm gonna put one big one right here in the middle of that flower. And all the flowers are gonna be in different spots. So on the other one, it was right there. On well, this one, it's here. And then that one's covered up. And then I've got some little ones I'm gonna put on the little flower. So we'll do one there. And let's do one on the words. Let's see. I think I like it over here. Okay. So there we go. And we've got our Winka Stella, but you can't, uh, you know what? I can hardly see the Winka Stella. I'm gonna put some more. So let's get that back out and hit some more on here. There we go. Now we got a lot. All right, so what do you guys think? Oh, you know what I just realized? I used the wrong piece of cardstock. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. So the one that I actually cut, I did not grab, so I just made another card with that same one I did first. So this is the one I meant to use, but you guys get the idea. So this is what the one should have been in there. And I've got the one with the forever fern on there that I already had cut ahead of time. So sorry about that, but just pretend like we got this one in there. I'm gonna have to make another one, but I don't have time right now because I gotta go to work soon. So thank you guys for watching today. And I hope you love this card as much as I do. I think it's beautiful and we've got our whole piece over here. This is what it's gonna look like when you finish. And I hope you like this technique and like these colors and you can try it yourself. If you wanna order anything, um, this is not orderable yet because it's only for demonstrators during pre-order. So if you're a demonstrator, you can get it. But if you're just a uh, customer, you're gonna have to wait till August 3rd. 
So um, that's one thing to look forward to, and it is free. So it's it's um, in the celebration catalog, and it is totally free with a fifty dollar order. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. If you're watching on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff, and leave comments, and you can win this card. And um, I'll be sending out the other ones to the winners as soon as I get your address. So you guys have an awesome day. I've got to go get ready for work. And I'll be back Thursday with another video. And I think I'm going to try a new technique with you. So make sure you tune in on Thursday. Um, it'll probably be maybe at night. No, let me see. Yeah, it'll be at night because I got to work Thursday morning. All right. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.